Hey guys, Chaotic Spark here with uh, something different today. Um, we're gonna be playing Call of Duty Gurren Lagann Warfare. Um, it's like Call of Duty, but it's anime edition instead. Uh, the anime of this game is called Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. First Assault is the name of the actual game. Uh, but you saw my aim down sights, and you saw me shooting that guy with an AK-47. Yeah, the game's very much like Call of Duty. Um, and similar to Call of Duty, it feels actually incredibly satisfying. Uh, feedback for guns is all there, feedback for hit markers is all, is all there, and it just feels good. Um, the game is made by Nexon. Nexon's popular for titles such as Maple Story, Combat Arms, Vindictus, and Dragon's Nest. Uh, you might have recognized one of those four games I mentioned, most notably in the Maple Story. Uh, and immediately the first thought that comes to mind is who the heck asked for this game? It's Ghost in the Shell, a really old anime, and it's also a first person shooter, military shooter, that's made by Nexon. And Combat Arms has a pretty big market. And I don't like who what it's just a lot of like a lot of red flags popping up. Like, is this going to replace Combat Arms? The answer is probably not, because Nexon probably has a huge uh, understanding that that's a huge uh, amount of their player base. But then why did they make this game? And who asked for it? So yeah, um, this game is class-based, quote-unquote class-based. Um, nothing. You can choose whatever gun you want. You can choose whatever you really, you can choose whatever really how to you can choose however you want to play the game. But the only thing difference between classes is your quote unquote kill streak, and the kill streak just piles up whenever you get kills, of course, or you do objectives. And it's and there are two times there are two types of different kind of kill streaks. One is called skill sync, which I just used right now. Um, that's our the ally actually has an invisible camo kill streak, and I was able to use hers when she activated it. Um, there's there's a skill sync, and there's also um, there's also just normal kill streaks. Normal kill streaks being like that turret we saw earlier, um, and there's also another kill streak that sends out little RC drones um, that basically explode in the person that autopilot that are controlled by a CPU and autopilot and blow up in person's face. So yeah, um, again, game feels very good in the hands. Uh, it feels good to shoot the gun. It feels good to hit the hit people with the gun. And uh, as you also see on the screen, in the top of the screen, there's this tank thing. And this tank thing is actually only available in this uh, game mode. Uh, speaking of which, there are three game modes. There's Team Deathmatch, there's uh, Search and Destroy, uh, you know, your standard military shooter uh, tropes. But then there's this game mode, which is called Terminal Conquest. Or I think it's Conquest Terminal or something like that. And the entire point it's like King of the Hill meets Tug of War. Basically there's a single point on the map and you all have to catch it. If you win at catching it, you advance towards uh, towards the enemy spawn side of the map. If you if uh, they catch yours then you uh, go back one point and uh, they go towards your spawn now. Um and the uh oh hold on, I'm trying to I'm going to use my sniper here real quick because uh, the enemy person was using, using a sniper and uh, that clearly failed so we're going back to the AK. Um, so yeah, you basically play tug and war with these capture control points on the map and uh, the best uh, the best way to... you either capture... you, cap, you do this five times in a row or you capture all the way to the enemy side of the map, um, where 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 uh, point E in this scenario, and their point A. So if we capture point A, the game's over and we win, uh, regardless of score. If they capture point E, uh, and like let's say somehow we're ahead in points, but they capture point E still, uh, then they win. And you know it's kind of like you know you kind of have to care about the objective still. You can't just farm kills, you know. It's, it's the standard Overwatch TF2 trope of get on the fucking points, 
dude. Stop being stupid. Uh, and uh, and as you you might have just saw briefly on the screen there, I could press E near the enemy think tank to make it more susceptible to damage. Uh, if you shoot, if I shoot it now, it takes like five, six damage per bullet, which is incredibly tiny. Um, even with everyone shooting at it, it will still take a bit to to be dead. While meanwhile, the enemy team is just killing us like that. Um, which, uh, what you just saw there was a rocket, as you uh, for uh, eagle eye viewers might have saw, and uh, that's it's a uh, it's actually a kill streak. So it's not just an RPG someone can abuse the crap out of like people often do. Uh, it's so yeah, the game actually has a lot of balancing in it as well. And the only thing that really is going to give you the edge in battle is. Uh, is skill, really. Um, there are a few things, but the biggest thing that... or there are a few things that you know that can turn the edge of battle. You know, like these battle drone things. Damn it. Um, or, you know, you see the thing tank, and, you know, I have this kill streak thing. But other than these... these... these things, uh, that just add variables to the gameplay, there's nothing really that stops you from being good. You know, quick trigger finger, and it, it's Twitch like shooter, you know, it's, it's really just how you're going to win. Um, and that's kind of why I really enjoy this game a lot more than Call of Duty. Call of Duty is very, you know, like, oh, I can, I got 25 kills and I'm able to end the game with all this well. Or, I got 10 kills, so here's this helicopter that just kills everything. Or here, I got seven. I got, I got seven kills. You know, so I can just, I can do this airstrike and get more kills. It's just, it's not, it's not skill rewarding. Is how I feel Call of Duty is at this point, and I don't really care that it's the same thing over and over again like most people do. What I really care about is that there's no like, like. It's hard to carry when you're behind, because the enemy team is just going to crap all over you with more stuff that they're getting for doing better than you in the first place. Whereas in this game, you can kind of just you just get these small things that help you, but that's it. And uh, in in such and destroy and team deathmatch, or specifically such and destroy, because like in such and destroy, you can just save a kill streak for the last round, which just guarantees you the round. Um, because you're really good at using the kill streak. But in this game, you know, there's nothing really like that. There's nothing game changing that you can't, like, play around or there's no counts to play or anything. And, uh, since the game is, uh, oh yeah, here's a backstab. That's also a cool thing about the game. Um, since the game is very, or since gaming communities are being more and more, uh, focusing on competitive play, this is very important, uh, you know, to have some sort of balance, to not just be able to use, like, uh, to be honest, I'm going to, I'm going to just be frank here, and I'm, I like Call of Duty, it's a good game, you know, this feels good, it feels good in the hands, it feels good to play, uh, you know, it, it's nice to be rewarded for having a lot of kills and getting a kill streak and whatnot, but, it's absolutely bullshit. Some of the some of the kill streaks are just not balanced. They're not like I got the higher kill streaks are just board wipingly massive, and that's like there's no there's no inter there's no human interaction at that point. Like I clearly died because of that nade. I died because I ran into fire with a knife out, and I die here because uh, fuck stupid. I could have shot that and won. But, uh, I didn't. So yeah, um, this is Ghost in the Shell. I'm sure that as much as, I, as I'm as i popping on this game is awesome, that you can just see for yourself that it has a lot of, it has a lot of mechanics, but it's not overly complicated. Uh, and as you also saw, uh, there is an aim down sight m mechanic, but I used mostly fire from the hip. Um, it has a very similar Counter-Strike kind of 
feeling to it as well, which is also nice. Um, right here, I there's a level up system, XP, 420, yay. Um, and I think level 10 is like, not the, it's not the max, because I have played past this point, this is a recording in the past, but uh, it's just a, it's kind of like a reward system basically, and level 10 is uh, where all the, is where all the uh, unique rewards come into play. So that's kind of, that's a Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare, and uh, yeah, I got first place. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, like, comment, subscribe, it really helps me out. And hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.